Hey guys, what's up? It's your buddy Keith, and I am here live again in the control room at the one and only world famous Essex Recording Studios. Man, I pay all this money for this good light. I'm, I should turn it on, shouldn't I? Boom, there we go. It's on. Yes, at the world famous Essex Recording Studios. And we've got with us a very rare 21 year old limited edition seven string Les Paul from Gibson made under the Epiphone brand. Yes. If you're new to the channel, hit that like button, smash that subscribe button, and come join our circle of friends. There's almost 10,000 of us. Guys, spread the word. Let's uh let's see what we can do in a month. Let's uh let's see if we can get all our friends and fam to subscribe. Costs you nothing, it's free. But I want to see us hitting that 10,000 follower mark and if we do get there, when we do get there, of course we're going to get there. I'm going to give you guys an awesome tour of the whole studio. This is just one of many, many rooms in the place. A little room over there, a little room over there. So when we get to 10,000 subscribers, we're going to celebrate by doing that video tour for all of you. All right, back to the task at hand. What have we here? Well, if you've been following the channel lately, you will have noticed that I had a seven-string Gibson Epiphone Flying V from 2000. This is the Gibson Epiphone Les Paul 7-string from the same series. In 2000, for a few months, Gibson and under their import brand Epiphone out of Korea made 7-string guitars. On the Gibson side, they only made 200. Whoa! On the Epi Epiphone side, we can't find any advertising. I've looked everywhere. Um, it's it's thought to be about the same amount. A very, very small amount of official seven strings were made. This was done in charcoal burst. And I believe they might have done a tobacco burst flame top as well. Uh, this guitar looks fantastic for 21 years old. You can tell it hasn't had a lot of sweaty palms on this beautiful seven string chrome bridge beautiful rosewood fretboard you can see a lot of the grain and detail there it's got a nice chunky neck if you're used to the 50s baseball bat necks well that was good practice for the seven string my friend and what's really cool is this is like top top of the line top of the range from Gibson outside of the USA. This is from Korea, which is where their very best imports ma are made. Not China, not India, not Indonesia. Korea is where their very finest guitars are built outside of America. And you get the Gibson logo name on the truss rod cover. Very, very rare that they do that. They only do it for their very top of the line instruments. Um, and on the back, you'll see you've got Epiphone Limited Edition. Now, I actually saw an old post on the forums from way back in the day that said these were actually sent to be inspected and set up at the Gibson Custom Shop. So this is a limited model built by the top luthiers in the Korean factory, came over to the States, to the custom shop specifically to uh because there's such a small amount of them that were made to get inspected and set up and this still has the inspection sticker on the back wow really interesting it has this kind of like textured white background there uh the backing plate don't see that every day from the factory and you've got kind of like these uh shallower style tun tuners i wonder if that's who made them Unsung Factory 00, that's for the year 2000, and 31775. I don't know if, if one of those is like, I don't know if it's 317 is the, the day, and then 75 is the guitar made for that day. Not quite sure. Um, that's my guess on how the final numbers run through. But yeah, I mean, you've got these awesome seven string pickups with a pick guard there all around it every all the plastics all match and just this really nice triple a uh book matched 
flame top that looks gorgeous. Charcoal burst, they call it. Kind of reminds me of a Gibson Custom Shop Class 5. If you see, I think we had a Class 5 Custom Shop very similar to this. Really, really cool guitar, guys. Today's just been an Epiphone day. We just did the Zach Wild Buzzsaw Epiphone. And we did the Zach Wild Camo Bullseye Epiphone. So we, we're loving our Epiphones today. Um, when it comes to the seven strings, these things are highly sought after. Extremely rare to get anything seven string from Gibson at all. The Flying V we had lasted, I think, one day on Reverb.com before it got sent out to America. We, um, I don't expect this one to last much longer than that. You, you can't find these. Good luck. Um, the last time I saw one, it was like in 2010, more than a decade ago. And it was, there was a comment about, oh man, I missed it on eBay. It got bid to $800. Well, the guitar market today is obviously a lot different than 2010. So this will get snapped up quickly. It's uh, a killer guitar. Might even, you know, the guy that got the Flying V might, might just grab this one too to have in the collection. I don't know. I'll have to shoot him a message. But this will go up on the website, EssexRecordingStudios.com. And on Reverb.com, Americans watching this, if you want to buy this, buy it through the website especially. Everyone should buy it through the website. Saves us on fees, but also you don't have to pay for Americans. Half the states have an online sales tax from big sites like eBay and Reverb. So if you buy anything through our website, you don't get charged that sales tax. Little life hack for you. All right, guys. Well, condition on this, very, very, very clean. There's a few... Minor marks in the top. I think I saw like a little mark right there. It's kind of hard to see. Um, a couple small, very small things there. Um, again, with a dark, dark guitar like this, with a figured top, it kind of hides any little bits. There's a little, a little tiny, tiny little thing right there. Um, on the back, what do we have? There's a ding here. Let's see if we can get the light on it. There you go. Ding there. Um, I think two dings there. That's about it, guys. You know, the uh, headstock looks good. No, no cracks or neck breaks or repairs. There's a little inventory sticker from a dealer back in the day. It looks like, oh, get in focus right there. Um, yeah, and aside from that, just a good looking guitar that hasn't had a lot of play. I mean, if, let's look at the frets on this. Yeah, I mean, there's no, there's zero fret wear on this. This thing hasn't been played at all someone probably said you know what i want to learn how to play seven string got this awesome good thing and just like said nope i'm gonna go uh go out and chase girls instead yeah well that's fine more seven strings for the rest of us all right everybody i got a scram dinner's waiting for me ice cold punk ipas from brew dog are waiting for me and, uh, yeah, I think it's been a good day's work today here at the old Essex Recording Studios. What color do we like? Oh, we got the green on. Let's try maybe like, like the blue. Boom. Oh, that looks kind of cool. Maybe like the red. Purple or the red. James likes this one. I think it actually looks pretty cool. Yeah. So it's been a long day. We're going to go and enjoy ourselves this weekend. Get this listed for sale for all of you. And if you want to come record with us and play any of these fine instruments on these fine amplifiers then give us a call shoot us an email book some studio time we will make some magic happen for you all right thanks everybody i am audi 5000 more guitar videos coming tomorrow see ya